Nature Spirit, yet another quest dealing with ghosts. You're going to need level 20 crafting if you're an Iron Man or don't like using the GE, but otherwise the only level requirement is being able to defeat some level 30 enemies. You need to have completed the Priest in Peril and Restless Ghost quests. I have the link to those guides here if you need to complete them. You'll need your trusty Amulet of Ghost Speak and the Silver Sickle I mentioned before. If you aren't an Iron Man, you can usually get them pretty cheap on the GE. If you're making your own, you'll need a Silver Bar and a Sickle Mold, which you can buy from a guy in Alcarid. Also, there's a fair bit of running back and forth through the swamp, so if you have any spare energy or stamina potions, those might come in handy. It's also helpful to have some jugs of wine, because they give 11 hit points and any food you bring will be ruined by the ghasts, but they can't ruin your wine. And of course, armor and a weapon. The quest begins by speaking to Drezel, the priest that was in peril. He's now living under the temple. Just a quick refresher, to find him we run north and go down the trapdoor, past the dog thing, go through the gate, run down the passageway, past the well and the monuments, through the other gate, and okay, here's Drezel. Ask him, is there anything else interesting to do around here? He says he's got something for you to do, so ask, what is it? I might be able to help? He says he's got a friend named Philemon who lives somewhere in the Mortmire Swamp and wants you to find Philemon for him. Say you'll go and look for him and Drizzle will ask you if you're sure, and tell him you are sure. Okay, Drizzle says that's great. Watch out for the ghasts because only Philemon knows how to fight them and gives you a bunch of pies to bring to Philemon. Alright, now head south out of the temple, then go east, and then south to find the entrance to the Mortmire Swamp. When you open the gate, you'll probably get a message telling you the swamp is dangerous, but go in anyway. Okay, Philemon's Island is pretty far to the south, so just keep running south along the river. As you run, you'll see gas making noises at you and sometimes attacking you. Ah, uh, not right now, Posty Pete. Just drink some wine if you have some if they lower your hit points too much. Also, your pies may turn into rotten food, that's also fine, just dump it on the ground. Keep running south and eventually you'll find the island. Go over here and jump across the bridge. Sometimes you'll fall in the water, that's okay. Now go over here, equip your amulet of ghost speak, and then click on the entrance to the grotto and a ghost will appear. It's that guy Philemon Drezel is looking for, but he does not seem to be alive and well. He's excited that he can finally understand someone. Ask him, how long have you been a ghost? I hope that's not considered rude. And it might have been because he is in complete denial of being dead. We try and reason with him, but he argues that he can't be dead because he can still see everything. Say, okay thanks, or just walk away and go pick up the washing bowl. Underneath that, a mirror will appear. Pick that up and then use the mirror on Philemon. At first he thinks it's a trick mirror, but after some more convincing he seems to accept that he is in fact a ghost. Now he wants to read his journal to find out what happened, so right click on the grotto tree to get a search option, and you'll pick up his journal. Right click on the journal to get a use option and then use it on Philemon. After reading the journal, he realizes that he did die, but wonders what he should do now. Ask him, how can I help? He says he wants to become a nature spirit, but needs some help collecting things. He needs something with nature, something with faith, something freely given, something borrowed, something blue. No, just kidding. Just the, just the first three. He'll give you a spell card to get something from nature, but you need to be blessed by Drezel before you can use it. So cross back over the bridge and then return north through the swamp to Drezel. Drezel asks how things are in Mauritania, and you tell him you need to be blessed, but he'll say you haven't sneezed. Ah ha ha ha, very amusing. When he stops messing around, he'll bless you. Next, return to the entrance of the swamp. Stand next to one of the logs here, and then click on the spell card you were given. You'll see some sparkles, and then some fungi will appear in the log here. Pick it, and then return to Philemon. We now have our three things we need, so use the fungus on the light brown stone, that's the thing from nature, then put the used spell card on the gray stone, that's our freely given thing, and then your character is the thing with faith. Click enter grotto to make Philemon appear and then go stand on the orange stone and talk to him. Tell him you think you've solved the puzzle. 
He'll cast a spell and then he invites you to enter the grotto. Go in and then search the grotto and Philemon will pop out. He says he's going to complete the spell. Okay, and now he's green. He says he'll show us how to kill the ghasts, those weird ghost things that ruin your food. First we need a silver sickle, which we already have, so we don't need to ask all these questions. Just say, okay, thanks, and talk to him again. He says, great, a blessed silver sickle is a neat thing to have, and then he blesses it for you with that green stuff. Now we can use the sickle to cast the bloom spell to gather items to make the ghasts attackable. Philmin, or I guess his name is Nature Spirit now, tells us to go kill three ghasts and then gives us a druid pouch to store the gifts from nature in. Exit the grotto and leave the island. Ah, clumsy snuggle chick. Run over to stand next to some of the items here, then right click on your blessed silver sickle and cast bloom, which costs between 1 and 6 prayer points each time you cast it. When you do that, one or more items should appear, and pick them up. Usually it's a fungus. I'm going to just run over here, okay. Yeah, I got two that time. Once you have at least three items, click on the druid pouch to fill it. You'll then see a little number next to it indicating how many charges it has. With the charged druid pouch, we can attack the ghasts. Either it will automatically deploy on them when a ghast attacks you, or you can manually use it on a ghast to make it visible and attackable. Kill three ghasts and then return to the nature spirit. Search the grotto and Mr. Nature Spirit will appear. And because you released the spirits of the ghasts, he can now transform his grotto into an altar of nature. Oh wow, series makeover. And congratulations on finishing the quest. Just as a quick epilogue, now whenever you pray at the altar of nature here, your prayer points will not only be refilled, but actually boosted two levels, which is cool. Also, when you cast bloom on these logs, you can gather Mortmire fungus, which are used to make super energy potions. Hey there, thanks for watching. I hope the guide helped you out. If it did, maybe hit the like button. And if you're interested in seeing any more cool guides in the future, maybe hit that subscribe button.